Okay, chapter three. Um, we are start from very small electron dimension. Then we start to expand into a bigger perspective. Now we go into crystal structures. So from atom electron movement to the crystal structure. So chapter three is crystal structure. Uh, what I mean by crystal structure is basically how you form the element. Why diamond give you this shape? Why salt give you this shape? Uh, for example, okay. Why aluminum give you this shape? Uh, so we're going to see all these uh, some small um, sub chapter. Okay. So this chapter also explain why you see a certain metal with different color. For example, all this stone. Okay. Why this stone behave blue color? Why this become like gold color? This one uh, behave like purple color because of their crystal structure, the way they arrange themselves. The atom and atom, the way they arrange themselves uh, through refraction, you will see all these colors. See this one, uh? and why the shape is sometimes like round like that, some why like all these uh, prisma or pyramid shape. Uh. Okay, um, for second half, two new two new word coming in with this crystalline and yeah, crystalline. The word crystalline, crystalline or uh, crystalline. It means there's a pattern that's repeat themselves. For example, if the pattern is in box shape, for example, let's say the element have a cube shape and it keep repeating. It keep repeating this shape. Infinity la, infinity. So in the naked eyes, you will see this element behave like this in the breakdown. So when you break it, you will see the shape. Like your glass of your car mirrors, if you see when you car mirrors, there's some, some crack there. The shape, the, cap, the, the shape of the crack also because of the uh, crystalline structure. Uh, okay. So how you break these things is you dismantle like Lego. Uh, dismantle like Lego. Uh, so the definition of crystalline structure is this one, huh? You read, huh? It's a repeated this one. Okay. Um, so long range order, short range order. All these things. The word, the, the main important word is a crystalline. You understand why it's crystalline. Huh? So those that without any form, we call it non-crystalline. Mean either the, the element cannot arrange at a certain pattern. For example, there's no shape. For example, one might be triangular pyramid and then polygon, some weird shapes and so on. Uh, something like that. Uh. This is called non crystalline. Okay. Okay. We start to look at arrangement of atoms. The way it arranges itself, we use a method called network. The network is called space lattice. So we start with a very simple space lattice or the way you join the molecule or atoms together. And then you start to see alpha, gamma, beta from a reference uh, cell. Okay. So same, you'll see there's an origin, then there's a A vector, V vector, C vector, then alpha, beta, gamma. Uh, if you those who take statics, you know what I mean. Uh. Uh. 
Okay. So at, the, at this moment, are uh, you understand what is crystalline solid? What does it mean? What I mean by space lattice? Space lattice is just a presentation of uh, how you join the atom to atom together. It's called space, a space lattice. Lattice is a, like a box. La. Okay, space lattice. Then if you pull out one of the crystalline unit, you pull out, they become unit cell. Yeah. Space lattice, unit cell. It's okay. Uh, okay. So the type of unit cell or crystalline structure, they have a lot. You have cubic, tetagonal, autogobic, rhombo, and so on. We will focus on cubic. And hexagonal, uh, this one. Okay. The rest uh, is too complex for engineering material, unless you take material science. Okay. Now, what are the differences? Is because of the parameter in the lattice system. There is a difference between the A, B, and C. There's a difference in alpha, beta, gamma. So for the cubic system, uh, for this chapter, you need to know how to calculate alpha, beta, gamma, A, B, and C, how to arrange them. Uh, this is the main focus of this chapter. So if you calculate, calculate, you get 90 degree, it's four under this category. Means the, the side also same, same side, A equal to B equal to C, then all these are alpha, beta, gamma, all 90 degree, means perfect cube. It's under cube system, cube crystal system. And you have three types of uh, space lattice. Okay, uh, we, will, we will go into detail later. Okay, so you calculate, calculate, then in, uh, you get some value. Like for example, A equal to B, but not equal to C. Alpha, beta, 90 degree, gamma, 120, then it become hexagonal. For this chapter, you only study one, two, three, and four. Four crystal structure. Okay. Yeah. So in the presentation, you look something like this. Huh? Okay. So for your revision in your test or final exam, this is a chart for you to look at. Okay, but you won't see this one in your appendix in your test, huh? it's just for your revision. So you'll see one, two, three, and this one. You see this, this shape, then you do calculation based on the shape. So in chapter two, I ask you to remember four type of material for each, uh, uh, each type of bonding. Here also you need to remember at least three to four elements in each type of the crystal structure. So there are four major family when you talk about lattice network. One is a simple body centered, face centered, base centered. Uh, I will explain. Uh, in detail later. Okay. Okay. Simple means you can do with simple calculation using trigonometry equation, everything 90 degree. It's called simple. And then you will see exactly all the atoms or sphere at each of the corner. Then uh, either it's on the face. One cube got how many face? Six faces. So if your molecule parking at exactly at exactly location, let's say at the center or at the middle, 
on the cube, then it fall under simple. Okay, the body centered means something in the center of the cube. Face centered means something at the face. Base centered means something at the base. Eh? Okay, so for cube system, we will have these two. This is a simple cubic, we call it simple cubic. Body centered and face centered. Huh? So this is what you're going to learn in this chapter. Okay, so simple cubic. There are two present uh, there are two presentations of crystal structure or network. One is by dot and line. One is by 3D drawing like this. Okay. So imagine how you get this this one easy, right? Simple cubic SC means simple cubic, means all the corners have one sphere there. There's nothing inside. There's nothing on the inside, there's nothing at the face. It's called simple cubic. Then if you if you this one, uh, this one dot you imagine as a big sphere. It's like you imagine as a tennis ball or small orange. You pack them inside the means you arrange the sphere. Uh, for example, four at the top, four at the bottom. You put the orange or tennis, four at the top, four at the bottom. Then you join the middle of the tennis ball together with the blue line. You form simple cubic. Then you you cut like a cake. The side you cut away to form a cubic shape. You will see the three D model like this. Yeah. So for this module, you need some imagination and artistic sense, uh, because. Uh, this one is at the atomic level. Uh, it's very hard to see this one like with naked eyes. Huh? Okay. Then the second one, you see body centered. What is the difference between the simple cubic? There is a dot there. If something inside the body is called body centered something, body centered cubic means it refers to the cubic shape. So. You imagine this one, how you pack your orange or your tennis ball. Four at the top, four at the bottom, and one tennis in the, in the middle. Then you cut like a cake, the square cake. You'll see like this. Yeah. Then this one. Face centered. Again, you like you're packing your tennis ball. Four at the top. But what I mean by face centered? You need to add one more sphere at the face. Cube, you have six faces. You need to add tennis ball at each middle of the face. Okay. So total, total tennis ball you need to build this one is how many? I ask you how many dots you need for face center. This one got eight lah. This one got nine. Yeah. And this one? How many dots you need? Or how many tennis balls you need to build face center cubic? Uh, huh? 14? You know how to count, huh? The top got 5. Side got 2. Uh, 3. This one? Got two, and you count uh, Actually, four, four, right? Four, four, eight plus six, fourteen. Uh. Can I uh, try to imagine a bit? Then you cut like a cake in a sphere. You will see this shape. Okay, uh, so. Uh, start to uh, try to understand in 3D when you cut it, what you see. Uh, okay, for example, simple cubic, because usually the question, what we will ask 
start from this semester, we'll ask you to compare your answer to the simple cubic. So your senior, senior, maybe they don't know how to answer this kind of question. Huh? Right, so for example, this, uh, this one, right? This one, when you cut the cake into sphere, each corner will be how many percent of the tennis ball? When you cut, right, you cut. So if you want to focus on one corner like this, so how many portion of that tennis ball is C in here? One over four, right? Correct. You cut the you cut the tennis ball, then you see one over four, right? Big sphere, man. You cut you cut corner. This one one over four of the sphere, right? Ah. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You combine, become Lego bricks, you assembly this blue color cutted shape. How many sphere you can get? How many complete sphere you can get? One. One complete sphere. If you break this blue color Lego bricks, you join them together, you will see one complete sphere. Can you imagine? Huh? Uh, this is under simple cubic. So for material science, if you look at simple cubic, all the calculation will evolve around one sphere. When they calculate volume, what is the volume equation for sphere? Understand? Understand? You see, we cannot see it. Can I? Ah. So it means you. Ten, uh, tennis ball or any round object, you join them together, become a. Then you cut all corners. Then you uh, form this quarter, 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 quarter. So this one, you join, you get half sphere. The bottom one, you join together, you get half sphere. Top one, you get another half sphere. You join top and bottom, you get one sphere, complete sphere. What is the equation for volume for sphere? Can you recall? Four over three pi r what? This is the r. So this one, the, I think this is a most fundamental equation that you use in chapter three. Uh, if you forget later, you recall. Uh, this presentation. Calculation remains same. Because this is how you see the, um, the numbers of the number of sphere that you can form in this crystal structure. Okay. Means if you break all this all this uh, black dot you join together, you know that one single uh single cubic you can calculate one sphere one atoms of that element what is the weight then you can multiply by avogadro number you know one more got how many uh, so for so example uh, later i'll give you one example uh, for example once you know that it's simple cubic, let's say simple cubic like this, I, I draw something on the whiteboard. So let's say one simple cubic equivalent to one sphere object, one atom, one complete atom, one sphere. So let's say this is one gram. You have, uh, this, this is one gram. So uh, you in the application, you know how how many how many red sphere you need to mix in the in the process. Uh, so later lah, okay. We, we we continue then this one. 
Uh, now it's more on the imagination first, uh, before I go into calculation. For body centered, you know how to cut already. Body centered, if you draw this diagram, you got nine at nine sphere there. But when we talk about unit cell, which is only focus on inside this boundary layer, it's like you play you 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 play tennis or you play badminton. There's a inline and outline. Uh, so same. So inside the boundary, how many atoms you have? Uh, how many sphere you have? Simple cubic, we all agree, we can fit one sphere inside this shape. How many sphere you have for body centered? You break them into Lego bricks, you join them together, how many? Many? How many? Or the, the questions too stupid already. Right? Okay. Uh, okay. In this chapter, we will frame all our, our, all our calculation in the unit cell unit space lattice. We will see all our question by do sampling. We only see what happened in this size of volume. Then we multiply this cubic how many times? Because we are looking at crystalline structure. Crystalline means you can repeat this cube structure. Okay. Now, uh, then in this one, we can only use this frame to do calculation. So there are lots of arranging arrangement of sphere or atoms. Right? So as long as there's a space, you can fit in there. You can fit in there anywhere you want. But we are looking at only this field system only. We don't look at very, very complex system like what you see on this, this table. Okay? The atom can fit here. They can fit anywhere. Then become a, a diamond shape or something like that. But we're looking at the first simple example first, which is everything is perfect. You can cut 90 degree perfectly. Uh, don't confuse with the crystal and all this uh, shape and all this. Huh? Like for example, the, the first slides I show you. We are not looking at this shape. We are not looking at this shape. We're looking at maybe one of these shapes that is square. A perfect crystal. Okay. So we, we start with the presentation first, uh, uh, diagram presentation first, then we only do application on the real metals or real element. First, you, you know that we actually are using the same frame with this uh, cube shape. All these sides are same. Huh? Uh, this, this, this one. We label this one as A later. All the A will be the same at this moment. At this moment. Huh? So for, we agree that for simple cubic, if we cut four sides, we join the blue color sphere, we get one sphere, complete sphere. What happened? Body cubic, you get two sphere. Can you imagine two? Can I? Then this one? How many sphere? Four sphere. The blue color form one sphere. The middle one got one sphere. I'm oh, sorry. This one got no, don't have middle, middle. Huh? This one don't have middle. Face means they, they fit the face only. There's no middle uh, sphere inside. If there's a one middle sphere, there's another category already. It's not core face centered, right? Form yes, form two. Yeah. 
Okay. We are talking about the same material. Huh? Like you fit orange, main, all these are, you are talking about orange. So if you put orange, you arrange four orange at the top, four orange at the bottom. You cut exactly the distance in sphere shape. Right? So this sphere is actually, let's say the orange have a radius of R. You cut exactly the R, 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 R here. You cut according to the radius of the sphere object. Yeah. Then this one, same. Huh? The element must be same. Huh? You're using this one, you got using nine orange or nine, nine tennis ball. Same radius. Then only you cut the same radius size, you get two. This one, you get four. Because this one is half, half sphere. So you have got six faces, you got three sphere there, plus the blue color, four. Make sense, huh? Okay. I think I need to move fast a little bit. Okay. So, note for you is that the, this, the blue color line it actually is the diameter of the atoms. The, the, the length is actually the diameter of the atoms. Not that one. Okay. We'll do some exercise. Huh? First, most of the metals. They are body centered. They are these, huh? So we will we will study these metals most of the time in chapter three. So first one, BCC, FCC, HBC, huh? Uh, three technical word for second half. Body centered cubic BCC. Face centered cubic FCC, and hexagonal close pack HCP. A, B, and C. So for today's lesson, if you see the word, if a question asks you, sketch the crystal structures for BCC, you should be able to draw something like this A, diagram A. Okay. Then you draw, if the question asks you FCC, you should be able to draw diagram B. A should be no problems. B, I've seen careless mistakes in previous batch. How many sphere that should have for BCC? 14, right? Ah, so in test, if the question asks you FCC, make sure you include 14 dot inside the diagram. Huh? I go and count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You lack one means wrong again. Usually those you'll forget the one behind one. Then this one HCP is something like this hexagonal close back. Okay, hexagonal close back. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. This one actually missing, uh, not missing lah, but it looks something like that. Then there's a three at the middle. And for hexagonal close back, actually, it's a repeated uh, pyrogam, pyrogam uh, shape, repeated three times. Okay, this one usually is all the stone that you see, uh, the stone shop that all those feng shui stock uh, are usually like this. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is just to some exercise. This one you read, huh? This one you read. Okay, we'll start to give you example. Cubic cell, let's say we take uh, BCC, room temperature is so and so. Okay. Okay, so we take BCC, huh? Yeah? Uh, it's rarely we ask you to analyze simple cube because it's too easy. So we start with BCC. BCC body centered means there's one ex one one uh, sphere in the center, four at the top, four at the bottom. 
So at room temperature, let's say, let's say the site will be 0 0.28 nanometer. Let's say, huh? Let's therefore, if a unit cell of pure ion line up side by side in one meter, let's say this is one metal element, and you want to make one mm uh, pure metals or pure ion or Fe, how many unit cell you need? How many unit cell you need? You know how to calculate? You take one mm, again, one 10 power negative three m divided by the side that you need or the length of this one because you want to form a one mm uh, object. You divide, you need to have 1.48 mega unit cell. Okay, the distance of crystal structure, you use X-ray diffraction analysis is a special machine that use X-ray wave to determine the distance between two, uh, two sphere or two atom. In chapter two, we already tell you how to calculate frequency wavelength. Okay. In previous chapter, we did teach you how to calculate wavelength from the energy. Okay. Um, since we don't have this machine, I show you by video. What mean by X-ray powder diffractometer? Uh, I need to show you this one so that you don't culture shock if you go to industry. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ralph Pearl. I'm in charge of this, this is the machine. Piece of it costs million. Here. Powder and you need a good foundation. And it's mainly so used how it to works is a rotating thing. The bulk of my work here is focused on new mineral discoveries. So uh, a sensor, mineral research in and general, so. but I also spend a lot of time uh, doing analyses for uh, so identification this is a purposes. Of a it uses a, uh, an optical sample. experiment called diffraction, okay. which is so this is a machine. Inside the instrument showing this video and is, captured this by is the detector here. It's called X-ray powder and diffractor. Basically, if we want to simplify the diffraction, it consists the of a, an X-ray beam. There's a transmitter, that will there's a receiver. Just a tiny amount of powder coming Light from will a, have a mineral specimen. And Same the image that's captured signal. on the other side of the experiment by the detector becomes the, the fingerprint or a signature for that mineral so for see some identification pink, purposes. Here we have an example of uh, an image that has been captured. So this is a good friend for you throughout the semester. These two graphs, they are important. Okay. So for example, chromium, lattice constant A. What is lattice constant A? This is lattice constant A. Atomic radius is what? Atomic radius is the sphere radius. For example, chromium. Chromium lattice have this one. Atomic radius is this one. The question will ask you a very simple question. If chromium is given, how many how many chromium atoms that you can fit in one unit cell? Of course, here you cannot see. Through analysis later, you will see either chromium in BCC, FCC, or HCP. These three types. Okay, so this is... Uh, Uh, means the, the object that you're going to fit inside the corners. And we assume the element is in sphere, sphere form. Of course, in real case, it's not a sphere. 
we just assume it's a stream. Okay, so this is for BCC crystal structure. This table already tell you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember four. If the question asks you, give example of BCC structures element or metals. Give four from here. Remember lah, this either from here, wherever you, you like, pick four from here. The question, if the question asks you, give four example that have FCC crystal structure at room temperature. Here got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember four, right? So same, you are see, have the A, you have the R. Okay. This one, you don't need to remember. You just need to know what are the elements. Of course, in the test, these two will combine in a very long list table. You won't see FCC, you, you, won't be, you, you won't see BCC, but it will scramble around. This is for your convenience, but you won't see this one, this presentation in the exam. Okay, so this, this is just a, a re reminder, what is BCC, what is FCC? So for chapter three kind of question, before you start, most of the time we ask you to draw the crystal structure. You need to start with the crystal structure, then do analysis. Okay. okay. This is the HCP, another one. There are only three, three main things you need to remember. Uh, BCC, FCC, and HCP. Again, there are few members here, remember four. Okay. This is a kind of section A kind of question. Maybe five marks or six marks, something like that. Okay. Again, I try to practice how you draw this diagram. Standard one, this one's standard. Then as, as we come to this one, there are some parameters you need to add in this diagram. Then something missing, you need to find. Using uh, mathematics, geometry, calculation. Okay, now uh, you will see something like this. You mix around. I'll remove this one in the test. So you will see, uh, I will remove this one. You will see radius in the question. Okay. Then through calculation, you guess whether it's FCC or HCP or BCC. There's some calculation to justify that. Yeah. So at least you prepared, oh, okay, this is going to come out. How are I going to ask you? Okay. Then only I teach you how to solve that question. Okay. In exam, please write the full name, uh, BCC, uh, body center cubic bracket BCC. Okay. Next, we move on. There are three types of presentation. Read carefully the question. The question either asks you to draw atomic site unit cell or hard sphere unit cell, something like that, or isolated unit cell, this one. Just now, in the earlier slide, you see these two presentation. This slide gives you another one. This is more on the real scenario. You see under the uh, uh, X-ray machine, X-ray uh, machine, you'll see something like this. Okay, so read carefully the question. If the question asks you to draw this one, then draw this one, don't draw this one. But most of the time it's this one. Okay, or sometimes this one is called reduced sphere presentation. Okay, this one you already know. Lah, huh? So for BCC, there are two atoms per unit cell. You already know. Lah. I already explained just now. Okay, this one I just explained. The calculation will be like this. Lah. You need to show the calculation. Uh, just, just now the exercise is brain, brain imagination. 
but in the exam you need to convert your imagination into mathematic form so what you write a total of one uh, a total of uh, items uh, each cell has an equivalent of how many atoms you write a total of one in the center plus each corner is one over eight you multiply by eight you get one total is two this equation important huh? important or sometimes we are not you are not required to tell me this equation you straight away write this statement you write for bcc have two equivalent uh, atoms per unit cell or equivalent to two atom per unit cell or you write bcc have two atom per unit cell also correct this is a one mark kind of uh, bonus mark uh, because you need this information for the next calculation steps uh, so the word sphere here again later uh, just now i asked you the sphere equation you need to recall back uh, anything related to sphere uh, okay mm, this is another one the one on the left is hot sphere the one in the middle is reduced sphere. The one here is aggregated uh, presentation. This is uh, the real case that you see under microscope. Uh, don't confuse between reduced sphere uh, and a reduced sphere and a hard sphere. Of course, in question, most of the time for info, the question will mention reduced sphere. Okay, we start to work with trigonometry. Yeah? Okay. Now, you draw a sphere. Uh, this is a standard answer. When you see BCC kind of question, this is standard answer. If you don't know really how to solve, draw this diagram, you will get two marks, three marks there. Okay, how to start? You draw a cube. Cube, no, no need to be exactly as long as you show the cube shape. Okay. Because this is BCC, body centered, so there is a sphere there. And there's a sphere here, sphere here. Okay. You don't need to draw so pretty like what you see on here. As long as you draw something like what I draw on the whiteboard here, it's okay already. Then you label what? You label A here or any side. You label A. It's fine. As long as I see A there. Okay. Or because maybe you need to use the, uh, the side, you can draw A here also. As long as A is a side of the lattice. Okay. Then you draw a line in this corner and this corner. It's actually a trigonometry question. So you have a cube. Can you prove the side of this one? A to B, AB distance equal to square root 3A. Can you prove? This side is A, this side is A, right? This is also A. So in static, or well, I did teach you already how to do. At the bottom, at the bottom here, what do you see? This is bottom. Huh? You are seeing A, A here. This is 90 degree. By using trigonometry, C, A, B, how to find C? C square equal to A square plus B square. C equal to what? Square root A square plus B square. So this one equal 
This one, if you don't know, you put a x there. x equal square root a square plus a square. You what? Square root of 2a square. We'll simplify. Carry forward the, the cap. a square, a. That's why you need to show uh, these steps you need to show uh, in your test or final exam. Uh. Don't straight away give me that number because you will, because this number will change if you change from BCC to FCC to HCP. Yeah. Once you have this one, one you have square root of two, you have another triangular to solve. This is square. I'm talking about this triangular. Bottom is what? Square root of 2a. This is a. This is missing. So still the same. Using this triangular approach. Let's say I label this one as y. So y is y? Square root of a square plus Square root of 2 square. So what you get? A square plus 2A square. How many you get? Square root of 3A. Yeah. Yeah. So here is square root of 3A. You need to show this calculation or derivation in your answer. Every time you see chapter three kind of question, start with the cube, then do all this calculation. The careless mistake is the line of AB. Sometimes you confuse with BCC and FCC. It's a different set, huh? different set of calculation for BCC and FCC. Now I'm seeing you the BCC. Uh, those watching online one, sorry, I'm writing something on the whiteboard. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay. This one might be too fast. Okay. After you analyze the cube, you put in the sphere. You put in the sphere. This one got full sphere. This one got half sphere, half sphere. This one is how many R? One R. One R. How many R? Four R. So 4R equal to the blue line. 4R equal to the square root 3A. You get this equation. Uh, so after you've done the trigonometry, cube analysis or cube derivation, go to the diagram and put in the sphere and show, uh, remember to show uh, the sphere and write this one is 4R. After you write this one, followed by the this, what the one you see on the screen here, square root 3a equal to 4r. Then the next steps you can do or don't need to do also can, depend on the question. Sometimes a is given, sometimes uh, r is given. So, for BCC, conclusion, BCC, your A, BCC, your A equal 4R, square root of 3. This is your lifesaver. Why? This equation will ask you, will, will help you to prove whether that element is BCC or not. i give you an example. Eh? If this slide is given, without knowing the crystal structure, you draw all the cubic, all the calculation. At the end, you for BCC, you know that A equal to 4R square root of 3. Let's say I pick one. I pick 
uh, before I move on, uh, um, ferrum, uh, iron is a special element. Iron have alpha, beta, gamma, ferrum. Got three color, green, uh, green, red, and one more color, black, I think. Right? Okay, let me pick one. Uh, uh, chromium, uh, let's say I put, put chromium. Chromium, what is the value of your radius? Okay, or never mind. Four over, four over three, what is the calculator tell you? What is the value? How many are? Four over square root three, what is the value? Huh? 2.309. So for chromium, uh, for chromium, the radius will be uh, uh, 0.129. You substitute 2.309. You multiply by 0 0.1249. This one is in nanometer. So you get one number, this is A. So, uh, or sometimes, okay. <clears throat> or you get this ratio, sometimes you, uh, this table is not very good. Lah. There's one table will give you A and R. For example, chromium, you give you chromium of A, chromium of R, you prove the constant is 2.09. That is uh, BCC. Okay, uh, maybe I'm going to find. I think I have that table. Okay, later I'll show you. Huh? Okay, so these are the extra things. For BCC, 2.309 is the magic number. As long as you take A divided by R, you get 2.09. That is BCC. That element is BCC. Or you get the ratio is 4 over square root of 3. That is BCC. A divided by R. What is A? Let this side. R is what? Radius of the element. Okay. Another formula. This one. Is, uh, those uh, female or girls, you are very good. It's called packing factor. You know how to pack your things, All right? So APF is atomic packing factor. Means how many sphere you can pack inside the 